Hello again, boys and girls. Look at me. I'm all geared up to volunteer at the zoo. Today, I'm going to feed some of the animals, clean their cages, and bathe the elephants. They love it when they get to play with water. It's really sad to see that so many of these animals are now classified as endangered species. Some of my Green Club members are doing research on the inventions that scientists are using to track the endangered species. We will find out more about those inventions in my next segment. For now, some of our four-legged friends sound very hungry already. Today, you will learn at least five words and phrases related to the topic of saving the animal kingdom used in various texts, the simple present tense, and to write an email. Let's play a guessing game. You are going to listen to some sounds made by animals which are classified endangered. There are five animals. Take out your pen and paper and let's test your knowledge on the animal kingdom. If there are two blanks on the screen, it means that the answer contains two words, just like hawksbill turtle. This animal has two words, hawksbill and turtle. Sometimes the name of the animals require you to name the country in which the animal can be found. That's just a clue. Are you ready? Listen to the first sound. <laughs> Write your answer now. Now, for the second sound... <laughs> Write your answer. This animal only has two words. Let's listen to the third sound. Write your answer. This animal has three words. Now, listen to the fourth sound. Can you guess which animal makes that sound? Write your answer now. And this is the final sound. Listen carefully. Can you name the animals that make these sounds? Write the name of the animal now. Let's check the answers. It doesn't matter if you don't get all the answers. We will learn new things today. Number one. The answer is Eastern Lowland Gorillas. Number two, the answer is Sumatran Tigers. Number three, the answer is Yangtze River Dolphins. Number four, the answer is Stella Sea Lions. Number five, the answer is Sumatran Elephants. The Earth is home to lots of wonderful wildlife. But sadly, some species that once called our planet home today no longer exist. They are known as extinct animals. When someone tells you the animal is extinct, how do you feel? Do you know the meaning of the word extinct? Look at the screen. Extinct means no longer in existence. It means you cannot find them anymore. Yes, totally wiped up. I feel sad too. There used to be many Sumatran tigers roaming around in their natural habitat. But now, we can be considered lucky if we can see one in a zoo. There are many other animals that are classified as endangered species. Endangered animals are animals that are facing the threat of becoming extinct. It means that their population has dipped significantly and there is only a small number of them left in the world. 
That's another word learned today. Can you say the word again? Endangered. Repeat after me. Endangered. Well done. Let's say these two words now. Extinct. Endangered. Our topic today is saving animal kingdom. You have just been introduced to two words, extinct and endangered. Let's look at the word web in this screen. Can you write at least six more words related to this topic from your previous reading exercises? You can discuss with a friend. Today, we are also going to look at how the simple present tense is used in an article. Here is a quick revision of the simple present tense. We need to know when to use this tense and observe the changes in action words when the situation in the sentence involves the change in the time. Simple present tense is a verb tense which is used to show repetition, habit, or generalization. The simple present can be used to talk about scheduled actions in the near future and, in some cases, actions happening now. Scientists track a wide variety of animals, from butterflies to great white sharks. In order to study how they use their environment, which foods are important and to gain insights into behavior and condition of the creatures as well as to identify key breeding areas that may need protection. Let's read these articles. While reading, I want you to underline all the action words. With the end advancement in battery technology and miniaturization of electronic devices, we are now able to follow even the smallest birds and insects on their migration. Can you tell me the verbs that are in the simple present tense? Since the writer is writing about the advancements in technology in the present tense, as in, right now, you can see the action words is simple present forms. Look at the screen. The words have been highlighted for you. Did you get them? Here is the continuation of the article. On the screen, we are going to read how technology helps to track some endangered animals. Let's read it together. But before that, choose the correct verb to use in this article. We can get a lot of information about animals, including their position anywhere on the planet without having to be there with them. Satellite technology allows us to track animals, while critter camps and accelerometers give us a ringside view of their behavior. Technology makes it possible to study animals in the most remote polar regions and deepest oceans. Shall we check our answers? Brilliant! Now, look at the screen. Do you get all the words? Wow, technology and inventions are really important and useful in our effort to monitor these endangered animals, aren't they? How exciting! Here is another paragraph. Choose the correct form of verb to read this paragraph. Are you ready to check the answers? Let's find out. Researchers tag great white sharks by darting trackers on their dorsal fins. They use very light trackers on small birds and insects. 
now, we are able to track the migration of the Arctic tern birds with a GPS tag attached to a ring of a bird's foot. They also use 12 mg transponders and scanning radars with bees and butterflies. Well done! Shall we look at some of the sentences that use verbs in the simple present tense? Scientists track a wide variety of animals, from butterflies to great white shark, in order to study how they use their environment. In this sentence, we use the word track because the people who carry out the action, the scientists, are in plural form. It is written in the simple present tense since it is a fact. If the writer had used the word tracked, which is the past tense, it means that scientists are not tracking animals anymore. This sentence also shows that tracking animals to learn more about their location and behaviour is an activity that is still being carried out. Let's look at the next sentence. Look at the screen. The verb must always agree with the subject. In this sentence, there are two subjects. The first subject is satellite technology and the second subject in the sentence are critter cams and accelerometers. Since the first subject is singular, meaning one or single, the verb in the present form must agree with the subject. Look at this formula. Subject, singular, plus verb, plus S, simple present tense, plus object. The second part of the sentence has more than one subject, which means that the subject is in its plural form. Do you remember what they are? Aha! You're right! The critter camps and Accelerometers. Therefore, the verb that follows plural subject will not have S when used in the present tense. The formula for this is on the screen. Let's check it out. In the article, the verb give is in its root form because it has to agree with the subjects. I have more exercises for you to answer. Can you shout out the answers? Each slide will contain only one sentence. The leatherback turtle is or are now extinct. And the hawksbill and the olive rightly is or are in precarious situations with only a few tens of nest per year. Let's check your answers. Isn't that sad that the leatherback turtle is extinct? Why do we use is and not are? In this sentence, we are referring to one particular type of turtle. Hence, the leatherback turtle is referred to as singular. Are you ready for the next sentence? Here we go. The lack of marine protection measures in Malaysia limits or limit its shrimp exports due to legal restrictions from importing countries, presenting a large economic disadvantage. Now, what's your answer for number two? Is the answer limits or limit? Why do you say the answer is limit? Can you explain? Is the subject singular or plural? You have to decide. Yes, you're right. The subject is the lack of marine protection measures in Malaysia. This is considered singular because the focus is on the first part of the sentence. The phrase the lack of, which means there is not enough. The focus of the subject is not the protection measures. Instead, we focus on the lack of actions taken in the country to limit 
trim exports. Take a look at these sentences. Take out your pen and paper. Answer these questions on your own first. We will check the answers later. The key to saving Malaysia's endangered wildlife fill in the blank lie in educating the local communities as to the value of their wildlife, both in the forest and in the seas. Some countries fill in the blank use artificial intelligence, the clouds and smart cameras to catch poachers and track wildlife populations. A community elephant ranger team, CERT, based in Sabah, fill in the blank, comprised of trained volunteers from Kampong Liningkung, Kampong Bauto, Kampong Gambaron, and Kampong Telupi to help in monitoring elephant migrations between Telupi, Beluran, and Tongan. To educate younger generations, some countries fill in the blank use movies to create awareness on wildlife protection and Rio, a movie about a blue exotic bird and his journey who, fill in the blank, live with his human companion, Linda. Malaysian roads sometimes fill in the blank, cut across foraging areas and as a result, Wildlife have to cross roads to look for food or better habitats. These incidents often fill in the blank occur late at night or early in the morning. Now, it's time to check your answers. You can mark your own work. Number one, the answer is lies. Number two, the answer is uses. Number three, the answer is comprises. There are two blanks in sentence four. The answers are uses and lives. In sentence five, there are also two answers. The answers are cut and occur. So, what's your score? Besides using many words in the simple present tense, I hope you're also picking up on some of the information concerning wildlife. The next activity will require you to use some of the words and phrases to write an email to your friend living in Australia. Let's find out some of the phrases and words that you can use in your email. Do you still remember the mind map that you prepared earlier? Now, now that you have done a few exercises and reading activity, would you like to add them to your mind map? I have two lists that I would like to share with you. Let's look at the screen now. Oh no! Some of the letters are missing. I have six phrases in my list. Can you complete the spelling? I will read the words to you. You can fill in the blanks with the missing letters. Endangered species, extinct animals, create awareness, track wildlife, hefty punishments, local communities. Now, shall we find out what the missing letters are? Here they are. Look at the screen to check the spelling of those words. Another list contains eight words which are all related to our topic today. These are the words in my list. I am going to make this easier for you. Only the first letter is missing in the list. As I read the words to you, you can fill the gaps with the missing letters. Are you ready? Let's nail this. Monitor. Educate. Habitats, migrations, populations, poachers, governments, volunteers. 
Now, let's check your answers. Look at the screen. Correct the spelling if you make a mistake. If the word or phrase is new to you, I want you to find out the meaning. You can either use the online dictionary or Google for de definitions. These are only a few. There are a lot more that we can add to the list. I'm really hoping you'll find this activity helpful. If there are words or phrases that are not in your list, add them to your list so that you will have more to use later. In this segment, you will write an email using the words and phrases that you have learned. This is the question. Are you ready with your pen and paper? Read the email that you received from your Australian friend, Greg. Hi, I hope you're doing well in your hometown, Chirate. My environmental science teacher had just shown us some pictures of extinct animals around the world. It breaks my heart to learn that humans do so much damage that some animals have ceased to exist. One of the animals happens to be the leatherback turtle. I can still remember visiting the turtle sanctuary when I was in Malaysia. Could you please share with me some of the measures taken by your country to protect other endangered animals in Malaysia? I hope to hear from you soon. Take care and bye. Your friend, Greg. This is the question. Write an email to Greg to provide him the information he needs. Some of the expressions are provided for you to use in your email. You may not need to use all the expressions in your email. Here are some of the suggested expressions that you can use to write your email to Greg. The Malaysian government takes this matter. Some of the technologies that scientists and researchers use include poachers and illegal hunters. Education is the key. Consider some of these tips before you start writing your reply to Greg. 1. Use the simple present tense. 2. Use as many expressions in the suggested list in your email. 3. Remember to link your ideas using cohesive devices and linking words to make your sentences longer. Are you ready to write your email now? Good! I have an outline for you to use. Feel free to use this template. Don't forget to write your email address too. Well, we have come to end of today's lesson. Let's look at your learning journey today. You have learned about the simple present tense, read about technologies and inventions that can save endangered animals. You have also learned some expressions and words related to our topic today, which is saving the animals and also write a reply to an email from a friend in Australia. Well done, boys and girls. I think you've done such a great, great job today. Let's look at some of the activities carried out by this organization to help raise funds for an endangered animal in Malaysia. Can you add three more activities to help them raise more funds so that they will have money to do their activities? Well, that's all we have for today. I hope 
you will continue to support the efforts to protect the endangered animals so that one day, many years from now, your children will be able to see them. Thank you and bye-bye everyone.